historically, lacrosse associations in Calgary are broken into quadrants. So every association would have had boys teams and girls teams. Certain quadrants may have been able to field a couple of girls teams, but you would have very diverse skill set on those teams. For example, I have a 16 year old who's played for 12 years who might end up playing on the same team as a 15 year old who just decided to give it a try this year. By putting all the girls into one organization, we have better uh, influence over how the organizations run from a coaching perspective, building community with the girls and meet new friends. So we want all the girls to know each other. Um, there's always the challenges of you want to play with your friends. Some years you're going to get a couple, couple friends, but you're going to make some more new friends. It's a lot of flexibility to um, get players in the best scenario where they can be successful. The players can move into competitive if they want to. Above all else, it should be about the fun, but uh, for those that want to pursue a little more competitive path, we do offer that as well. Any arena that doesn't have their ice in it is potentially a lacrosse arena. At the competitive level, we draw players from all over the city. You wanna play in a competitive team, you may end up traveling a little bit. You might live in Okotoks and have to travel to Northwest Calgary. With the development teams, recognizing it's, it's more about keeping the girls in their groups, we try our best to juggle those teams within a geographic area. Historically, we, we don't book outdoor times, but given what happened with COVID, we were kicked outside for a while, which is actually great. I remember as a lacrosse player young, always practicing outside. So we'll play at any community outdoor arena that has concrete. The game's not quite as rough as people think it is. Two of my daughters that play, a lot of people say, ooh, you play lacrosse, isn't that really rough? Lacrosse is one of those sports where there's room for everybody. But everybody sees what they see on TV, which is professional level lacrosse, which is a little bit made for TV. It's certainly real lacrosse, a little more contact than you might see. hidden gem until you've been to a game at any level um, this is like an action-packed non-stop sport if you happen to go to school and get some school paid for I think you've had a really great successful lacrosse career um, and just keep playing and have an active lifestyle there's a huge drop-off of athletes around 14, 15, specifically female. We're focused on, on doing it the right way, teaching girls as much as we can, the right way to play lacrosse, and uh, making it very inclusive around the time when they need sport the most. I tell most players and parents that this is not a game that you're going to learn in a year. A high level of skill with hand-eye coordination using lacrosse sticks. Uh, of course, there's the athletic part, the running, and then you add in contact, and then you add in completely different rules. There's a lot to learn, so I always say, you know, give it a couple seasons, and uh, but definitely come and come to a try it clinic. I promise it'll be fun, and they'll leave with rosy cheeks and uh, having a good time. This is my 43rd year involved in lacrosse, so I started when I was seven years old, back, back before lacrosse was cool, with uh, wooden sticks and no face masks kind of thing, so old school stuff, and I'm, I'm pretty passionate about, about it, so uh, I'm on the website as a director of coaching, but I will respond to any kind of lacrosse question, so you can find me there at uh, coaching at furylacrosse.ca, because I love nothing more than talking about lacrosse, and specifically female lacrosse, and developing athletes. I'm really big on being a, a good role model for these girls and making sure they have fun. Even as my daughters age out of this sport, which is still a few years off, I'm, I'm trying to create the next batch of coaches, ideally female coaches who've played lacrosse. That's my, my wish is that every team has a female head coach. <laughs>